What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Cassandra breakdown and our favorite paralegal, of course, Cassandra breakdown this whole blue face and well, blue face criminal and civil case timeline. So we can see what's going on with your boy. This is a long video, so grab your popcorn. Uh, but this will be from a legal standpoint, which will be as factual as it can be. Nobody's ever perfect, but as factual as we can get it. Let's get it. So as you guys can see, I have a timeline here, kind of a visual for you guys to understand what happened, what caused him to violate his probation terms, and why he can possibly do some more time in uh, prison. But, and when I say prison, I mean the county jail. <laughs> okay. But jail is jail. You're staring at all four walls. You don't have freedom, so on and so forth. So why he is locked up, uh, and there has been some uh, conversation about him catching additional charges on top of him still having to go to Las Vegas and face the judge there. So we're going to kind of break all of this down, you know, give you guys something to think about over the weekend as we head on into next. It's like the police just watched them for years. It was like, let them mess up. Boom. It's crazy. Wait. So here is a visual of our beautiful, 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 or I should say handsome, <laughs> blue face baby, AKA Jonathan Jamal Porter. So as we can see here, the very first thing that I want to start off with is the offense in 2021. Now I'm just going to kind of give you guys a synopsis. And then that way, when we get to the court docket, you guys can understand exactly where we are going with this. So what jumped or started this whole thing off was the offense that took place in California, I believe San Fernandino, uh, San Fernando, sorry, uh, in, at a nightclub. So on September 13th, 2021, Blueface and his uh, associates beat a doorman at the skinny lounge in San Fernando Valley. That man was transported by EMS to the emergency room for, you know, further evaluation on his injuries. A police Damn. report was filed, a uh, battery as well as robbery, because during that time that this man was getting beat, he does claim or allege that one of the attackers stole his chain. That's crazy. So going down to November when blue <laughs> fourth, that is when he was arrested. And when I say he blueface was arrested, so he didn't turn himself in from that time all the way till November of 2021. So they ended up issuing a warrant for his arrest. And then he was a later arrested on the. So Blueface out here getting warrants too. Got to my fourth for that incident at Skinny Lounge. Okay. Going up on 11 19, 2021. Not sure if anybody has heard of this, but based on what I pulled, he was arrested on the 19th and charged with penal code. And I will elaborate on that some more. That particular penal code just meant that it, first of all, it was a felony, but what he was charged with was injuring either a spouse, a cohabitant, a fiance, girlfriend, or child's parent. That's when they were saying, okay, I ain't even going to speak first. Let her say it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we are going to go to almost a year later from that incident. And then we have the incident that took place on October 8th eighth at the Las Vegas nightclub. So that is a case that we are very familiar with, um, the euphoric nightclub, the gentleman's club. And this is where Contavious trailer, um, flagged down police. And he alleged that someone shot at him in his vehicle earlier that morning. And he, I'm not on dude's side with that. 
Because he shouldn't have never went back to Blueface like he was tough. Also told officers that he recognized Blueface and his entourage. And we'll dig into that a little bit deeper. But that took place at that time. For a month later, he was arrested for that incident. Going into 2023, May 29th, uh, 2023, he was at the Palms Casino Resort. And what happened? That was with him, Krishan, and his entourage. So a woman claimed that on March, uh, not March, May 29th, 2023, at the Palms Casino in Las Vegas. Uh, she stated that Blueface took her phone, he placed it in his pocket, and then he told her that the phone was now his. Somehow, some way, she managed to get her phone back. But by the time she did that, somebody from the entourage uppercut her. And so as she's falling, Blueface then kicks her in the face, in the chest, and then security intervened at that point. What? Oh. These niggas. <laughs> the entourage part had to be Krishan. Krishan was the one who fought her. I could be wrong. So allegedly, if I'm not mistaken. Once security came. They fled. Him, Krishan, the entourage. Can you imagine getting kicked in the face by size 12? What are you doing? But I wouldn't have been trying to film them and all that anyway. I don't even understand why y'all like to play with these folks. Y'all know these niggas is crazy. I would leave them a whole lot. Krishan and Blueface deserve a whole lot of leave alone. Yeah. Leave them alone. <laughs> if you ain't trying to get your ass beat or fight that day. Because you ain't about to world stop me. But who want to have World War III with Krishan and Blueface? For what? That's just stupid. <laughs> they said they fled in a Dodge Charger. How they figured that out is because there were surveillance footage. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and everybody, I'm pretty sure there were several witnesses that, that seen that. And so the police actually obtained the surveillance footage as well as uh, cell phone footage uh, of that incident. But then that takes us to June 7, 2023, when he is then arrested. And you'll understand why he was arrested for that. Mm -hmm. And then... Because he kicked her in, in the face and in the chest, not because of that phone. And ain't that crazy that Wack was like, um, because of a stolen phone, Wack never included the fact that he put a size 12, 13 in her chest and in her damn face. Our very own January 12th, 2024, he was arrested in California for a probation violation. Crazy. It is very, very sad that Blueface has continued to, how can I say this? It's like he's continued to do things out of the ordinary and, you know, think that he is above going to jail. And it's not just him. It's many celebrities out there that think that they are above, that they're invisible and they can't be touched, so on and so forth. Right? That judge in Las Vegas specifically told him that she did not want to see him back in her courtroom or she's pretty much going to throw the book at him. Yeah, that, and that's because she gave the nigga a break, put him on that suspended um, probation. So keep in mind this timeline because I want, I'm, I'm really going to break this down for you guys so you can understand why he is in the hot mess he is in right now. Nobody is above the law. If you have legal obligations, you need to take care of them. If you're going to do whatever it is that you're going to do to break the law or not follow, you know, the terms of your probation, then you have to face the consequence. It's just plain and simple. It is truly plain and simple. I mean, at the end of the day, me as a paralegal, 
you know, contracting with criminal law attorneys, I'm making money. So, I mean, it, it don't matter to me because at the end of the day, people still not going to listen. They need attorneys. Attorneys need paralegals. Therefore, I'm going to get paid. But that's not yeah. the case. The case here we're talking about is Blueface. So let's dive into each of his violations and charges and so on and so forth. All right. So let me show you all my screen. All right. So the first charge that we are going into and I'm going to change my screen so you guys can I'll do this one okay so I am going to pull up the first case that happened in September with him and his entourage in San Fernando Valley oops all right so while this is pulling up i just want you guys to know that be mindful that this is the case that kind of set off everything so and i'll explain it in a second so far once back you enough violate to where the whatever attorneys, probationary terms if they want in this case anything i'm over here trying to make a thumbnail for the other video afterwards is a violation Okay, so be Say it again. Whatever probationary terms you had in this case, anything afterwards is a violation. Okay. Okay. Well, which case is this? Mm. Okay, so be mindful of that. So this is like the first domino that fell, and now all the dominoes are just falling. <laughs> I hope that was a good explanation. As good as so we these get. are his entourage so it has the same case number but as you can see it has one two three meaning that these are the people the other individuals that were associated with this particular case now i don't know any of his entourage's real names so i can't say that this is this person this is that person i need to do more research so then I could come back, do it probably a part two of this. And you guys could say, oh, OK, so this is him. This is him. This is what he was charged with, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to strictly keep it to Mr. Jonathan Porter. OK, really? All right. I always got to do the robot. Shit. I don't know if I took too long on that search or what. So while that is pulling up. Once again, the offense date on this one was 9-13-2021. He ended up not turning in himself, so they put out a warrant for his arrest. He was apprehended. And when was this? So while that is pulling up, once again, the offense date on this one was 9-13-2021. He ended up not, not turning in himself, so they put out a warrant for his arrest he was apprehended on what is that november 4th and the case was filed on that same date all right so here we are so as you can see here it was be out here just booking shows with uh warrants it's the filing day Crazy. it was a felony he was initially charged with the assault with deadly weapon with force possible great bodily injury as well as robbery. Now, how the hell Whack 100 didn't include that? That is what he was charged with. As you can see now, the robbery case was dismissed and it was a plea negotiation. <laughs> so it's not saying... You know, um, I took it or I didn't take it. It was just due, dismissed due to a plea negotiation. Now, going up to here, it does show that on November 18th, 2022, he pleaded nolo contendere. And we know that nolo, nolo contendere simply means not, no contest. What that means is that I am not accepting or declining the events that took place. So I'm not saying I did it, and I'm not saying that I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, basically what but what I am is. saying is I'll go ahead and I'll take whatever consequences it is for this particular charge. 
All right, everybody. It's giving LA and Vegas is out there looking out for all of them. It's with me. You are not safe out there. All right. So if we you ain't safe nowhere, but you really ain't safe out there. Scroll down. Uh, he had his arraignment on March the seventh. Uh, had a little had a little bit of resettings. Da 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 da. da. Okay. So from my understanding, and I am also looking at my notes while I am talking to you guys, Blueface was placed on probation for two years on mm, this date already you've seen that on the previous screen in 2022 okay. so from november 18th 2022 he could not be arrested or questioned or brought in for anything after this date so anything that has happened after 11 18 2022 would be considered a violation of his probation. Okay. <laughs> okay. That and that, that's after 2022. That's a little. It's like, dang, blue face. You just you just couldn't get it together, huh? I mean, nigga on camera beating up girls, bringing them to Jaden to beat them up. <laughs> she missing all the punches. Just couldn't get it together. Fighting Christian. <laughs> it's great. And then I'm gonna. Well, once we go through each case, I'm going to tell you how his probation was violated. So I'm going to go through here and just read this case. And then I'm going to hop to the next case and tell you how it's a pro probation violation. So on uh, the 2nd of December, 2022, he had a restitution hearing. So this pretty much meant that he is obligated to pay uh, Mr. Trailer a uh, certain amount of money that would that's what restitution is so they had that on that same date they also had a non-appearance hearing which means that they did not have to attend but he had to submit a report now this is the firearms prohibited relinquished report this is the same report that krishan has to issue the only difference is hers were non-weapons Blue faces was an actual weapon. So it still applies. Any weapons that you have in your home, you have to relinquish. If you have already, you know, relinquished them, then you have to turn in a report still, but you have to tell them exactly how you got rid of them, who you gave them to, so on and so forth. So it couldn't been that he gave it to you know Jaden or he gave it to Bodine or anything of that nature he has to actually turn it into somebody I don't think reputable is the um, <laughs> correct term I want to use but he has to turn it to the proper authorities let's put it that way mm -hmm. all right so uh, on this particular case right 526 23 he had a possible violation of probation hearing. That means that from 11 to the 18, 2022 till May, he did something between that time that caused him to violate his parole. So they had a hearing that he had to attend to. Right. Okay. Now, what happens when you don't attend hearings or you don't follow what you are supposed to do? You get a warrant. You end up with a bench warrant. Yes. <laughs> so they had a bench warrant hearing on 7-6-2023. On 8-11-2023, they had a setting of the violation hearing. And then look, we have a lot of probation hearings from October all the way to January. So this probation violation hearing. Anybody in, in L.A., like anytime you get put on probation, do you have to stop smoking? Like he was smoking the whole time on camera, smoking the whole time. <laughs> I'm just not understanding because out here, if you're on probation, you can't smoke. And like they on camera smoking with it, him and Krishan just on probation. 
So I know that might be a redundant question, but he he was on the run anyway, technically, because um, he wasn't showing up to court. And I'm over here talking about Blueface was upset at Krishan because he was saying Krishan wasn't handling her business. Nigga, you wasn't either. <laughs> was on October the 6th and then October, I'm sorry, November 6th, he had another one. And I'm looking at my notes to see. So nothing happened at that time. Okay, so he had another one there. Another one on the 8th. <laughs> another one on the 18th of, of December. And then we are up to this part. The probation violation hearing on January 12th, which is the same day that Blueface turned himself in. Now, mind you guys that these hearings are in advance. So in my opinion, I believe he already knew that he was going to go in and he was making whatever preparations he needed to because he knew that, okay, on January 12th, I'm going to be locked up. Mm -hmm. So he was booked on that day. And then on our beautiful April 9th, 2024, there was a proceeding that took place. And that is actually the day that they pretty much said that your probation is revoked and you're going to be confined to LA County. And then we'll go into and look in at what his terms of that probation violations was. But then if you look another probation violation hearing on May 2nd and June 10th, and then he has another one coming up on July 29th. So that means you had, when you were confined to the jail in April, you had one, two, you had three, three things that, three instances that happened that possibly violated your current probation. Three. What are you doing in there, my guy? So on that, that four, I don't know why it says remains our own recognizance, but he was actually in jail at that time. Uh, so that probation hearing, no bail. On the 610, no bail. Obviously, he's in there doing his time. Now let's go to the sentencing. So for the sentencing, it is still for the assault, possible great bodily injury. So here you can see that it was revoked. So back on November 18th, 2022, he was placed on probation. And mm -hmm. like I told you guys before, it, I don't care whatever other terms there are. One thing you know, you cannot get arrested or charged or questioned or detained by law enforcement because that is considered a probation violation. Right. Right. So keep up with me. So I'm that trying. was revoked. <laughs> and the judge says, okay, now you got to do your time. Right. So he was confined to LA County jail for a period of 354 days. Now there is a, um, a law in California to where you do 85% of your time which means that you do a two for one. Um, I am trying to pull that up. Let me pull that up right quick. So California jail sentence. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I know that there is a penal code and I should have, um, Pull that up before I got to talking with you guys, but I did read that there was a, they passed it, I want to say a couple of years ago as to where you pretty much two days counts as one day or one day. Well, <laughs> I said that backwards. One day counts as two days. So that's why everybody was saying, well, he's going to come home in July, blase, 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 blase. 
But in all actuality, your boy wasn't ever coming home in July only because Nevada, Nevada has a hold on him. Well, They're- that that part we knew. So we knew it was a hold on him. And clearly she's not talking to me. I'm just saying I'm speaking. So we knew it was a hold on him, but he recently had a court date and they found THCA in his um, cell, allegedly. I just want to say allegedly, but they found a substance in his um, jail cell. That's not alleged. So not only do does he have the hold I think he would have been out and I could be wrong because you are clearly talking. To, I got to talk to her. We're going to have to call her tomorrow. There we go. We're Nevada still has a hold. So it's, so it's still the same situation where Krishan is. Once you do your time, then you have to sit and wait for that state or county to come and pick you up. So it's still the same process. So he would have to set until Nevada. Now, me and my personal opinion, that judge was, excuse me, she was not playing. She was not playing at all. I do believe that as soon as his scheduled time is up in L.A., they are coming for him. Mm. Point blank, period. And look at this. The court date five two and seven twenty nine. I really, really, really want to know what he did. Everything is alleged, so we don't know quite sure. I'm what sorry, he- y'all. I want to hear this right quick. <laughs> Hold on. There's no. When you get knocked down, you get back up. Oh hell no. <laughs> he did, but still alleged. How y'all feeling about Joe Biden right now in the election? Please let me know. Or, or the debate situation. Let me know, please. Okay. So that is that particular case. So keep that case in mind. That is the case that started this saga. So the next case that we're going to go into is the I use it call it family assault but every state is going to call it different things okay um this is where it stated that he injured a spouse a cohabitant <clears throat> a fiance a girlfriend or a child's parent so he so this was Jaden allegedly was arrested on November 19th 2021 they ended up filing on november i'm sorry december 21st 2021 it was considered a felony okay that was a felony he was charged with injuring a spouse cohabitant a fiance boyfriend girlfriend or child's parents now as you can see On August 8, 2022, it was dismissed because of lack of a speedy trial. Now, I'm going to go a little bit further into this. It's given somebody didn't press charges or they dropped the charges. But before I do that, I am, and I'll read it to you guys if you can't see. So this is the actual penal code for this. Let's see, 273.5A, which is a felony. So any person who willfully inflicts corporal injury resulting in a traumatic condition upon a victim described in subdivision B is guilty of a felony and upon conviction thereof shall be punished by imprisonment in the state prison for two, three, or four years or in a county jail for not more than one year or by a fine of up to $6,000, or by both that fine and imprisonment. So the subdivision B is what they were talking about. Uh, Let's see, the offender's spouse or former spouse, the offender's cohabitant or former cohabitant, 
or the offender's fiance or uh, fiance, or someone with whom the offender has or previously previously had an engagement or dating relationship, as defined in paragraph ten of subdivision F of section two four three. Okay, I need English. Okay, fuck. So everybody was like, "I wonder who it is." Me too. <laughs> Jade. I'm trying to figure out who it is too. Trust me, I've been searching since January. I'm just gonna say allegedly Jaden. Um, it's a lot of people talking about that though. I will say, out of all the back and forths we've seen with Krishan and Blueface, um, I feel like one potential, or well, not even potential, well, maybe potential jail situation was the car debacle when she stole the car and he called the police or whatever. Outside of that, and him now, us finding out he kicked that girl, and girl, that's a whole nother story, but what else? Um, And theirs is so public all the time. Now, granted, everything clearly ain't that public. We did not know none of this. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know none of this. Let me know if y'all knew any of this down in the comment section below, but girl, it's just I've been getting messy. I've been January. But let's get into why the case was dismissed. Now, I've read through this already, so I know exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. But everybody's like, oh, my gosh, what happened? Did she did she um, drop the charges, so on and so forth? This is what happened. Well, I'm hoping I read. Let me see. Yes, so this is this. So it is state. So the reason why it was dismissed due to lack of speedy trial is because of this. It states, in the event that the defendant is not brought to trial or for sentencing within the 90 days, the court in which the charge or sentences, sentencing is pending shall, on motion or suggestion of the district attorney or of the defendant or person confined in the county jail or committed to the custody of the director of corrections or his or her counsel, or of the defendant of corrections or of the defendant of the youth authority or on its own motion dismiss this action so if we go back to here and i'm starting from when it was filed nothing was going on other than they were trying to schedule hearings now it could be that whoever the defendant which would be blueface and whoever he did this to they never went further with the case and that's the only thing that i am thinking of so initially if if that person is not trying to pursue anything and they scheduling a hearing and that person is not showing up for hearing then what can the state do the state can't do anything so therefore they are going to dismiss this case and that's why the case was dismissed okay say that again Therefore, they are going to dismiss the state and they scheduling a hearing and that person is not showing up for hearing. Then what can the state do? The state can't do anything. So therefore, they are going to dismiss this case. And that's why the case was dismissed. OK. Mm. All right. So that is that case. The next case that we are going to get into is the Las Vegas case. And that is the one. Yeah, I have everything. Um, I have my little notes and everything. So this is the criminal case. So everything that I have gone through is Blueface's criminal side. So he was, uh, so the incident took place on October 8th, excuse me, he was arrested on, well, I don't know exactly when he was arrested, but I know he was arrested for it back in November of 2022, Ooh, excuse me, so probably a less than a month or within that month time. What was his? So we had 34 minutes. I'm going to make a part two to this. Y'all let me know if y'all want the part two, because I know it's long winded as hell. 
Um, and that's because that's we're reading court dockets. Like, well, she's reading it, but we're listening to it. It's a lot of information to take in. Y'all let me know if y'all want that. If so, I'll upload it tomorrow. If you really want it, I'll upload it tonight. Let me know because I'm about to put this out. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.